Thanks for joining us today on Playing the Field Local Edition. I'm Maria Soreo. We are on the road today with the girls softball team from Peninsula High School. It's picture day, so we are at the gazebo right above Rat Beach. Coach, this has been the most challenging two years probably that when I talk to any athlete, whether they're pros or in a school, from a coaching perspective, what have you learned the most over this time? Um, you know, that's a great question. Um, I, I, and I don't know if I learned this as much as it's just been reinforced. Um, at, the, at the end of last year, we, we, we lost a game at the end of the year, and, and, and we, we didn't win very many games last year, you know. And the game ended. It was our last game. We knew it was our last game. And, and I was walking back to, to talk to the girls afterwards, and I was thinking, you know, what am I going to say? And, the, you know, the coach in you always wants to be like, well, you know, we need to improve this and this. But I'm thinking, it's the last game, right? So I get over there, and I'm frustrated, and I didn't, you know, I, I didn't know what to do. So, I'll, so I said to the girls, like, you know, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you guys take the lead on this. What do you guys want to say? And one after another of the girls started talking about how, saying things like, you girls have no, no idea how important you were to me this year. That when I was at home and during COVID and... Um, and, and, and didn't get to see anybody. Uh, I was really, it was really hard for me. I was really depressed. And just getting, just being able to come out here and see you girls and practice with you girls every single day uh, saved me more than you guys will ever understand. And I was like, yeah, that's right. Like, what's more important than that? You know, you always try to win the game that you're playing, but what's more important than that? You know, a, a, a kid, a, a high school girl talking about how a group of her friends um, saved her when she was feeling depressed. It's like, oh, okay, perspective. Yeah, perspective for sure. And it's interesting in talking to them too because it seems like a lot of them, even when we were most separated, they still stayed in touch with each, with each other too. Yeah. So I think it shows just how important they were to each other. I think, yeah. Yeah. What's it been like this year? So this year it's been uh, it's been fun because you know we started out and it was sort of similar and we were limited and we had masks and there were things we couldn't couldn't do and we even started playing in masks but only sometimes and of course we weren't sure how it was going to go and and uh, it's it's sort of oh man I hate to even say it, the, the return it, it feels more and more normal all of the time and. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's it's been great. All of the things, all of the things that last year brought. Um, it's it's not like saving people from feeling depressed. It's just more joy, you know, that you bring to people's lives. It's been really fun. Tell me a little bit about the makeup of your team. So we are running uh, uh, lean and mean this year. We have a, a roster of eleven, um, and that is probably a, the the smallest roster that I've ever carried. Um, we had um, a number of girls who graduated, and we had a number of girls who um, decided not to play for various reasons. You know, one said, you know, I'm really worried about my academics, and I want to focus on that. And, you know, how do you not give that kid your, the blessing? You know, okay, you need to do that. And one kid said, I've always wanted to be in the, in the school play, but I could never be because I was always playing softball, and it's something I really want to do. You know, you say, oh, yeah, by all means, do that. So... I wasn't sure how the season was going to go, but we had a really nice um, influx of freshmen. So there are there are four freshmen who are playing on the varsity team this year, which is as many as I've had in a really long time. And you combine that with the fact that, you know, the girls who are coming back are the girls who said, not me, coach, I don't want to do anything else. I want to be here. And and it's been a good group. It's it's um, they've they've bonded really well. Like I said, we've got um, we've got freshmen we've got all sort of all grade levels um and uh and they've, they've meshed really well it's been fun 
Stephanie, tell me how long you've been playing softball and why you chose it for your sport. Um, I've been playing softball for about eight years, and I started playing it because uh, my family is uh, into baseball and softball. Okay. And when I was little, I also played baseball. And did you try any other sports as well, or? Yeah, also soccer and okay. volleyball. Okay. Did what do you think it was about softball that made you stick with it? The people, and also it's just really fun to hit the ball. Okay. And fielding, I just love it so much. And what position are you playing now? Right now, I play outfield. Okay. And have you always played in the outfield, or have you kind of moved around? Uh, I used to be shortstop and also third base. Okay. What's the biggest challenge been playing in the outfield? The sun. That's the biggest. For sure. Other than that, it's pretty easy. Okay. And then how are you sort of balancing the school time with the softball time? Um, well, it's my senior year, so I have really easy classes. Okay. So I don't have a lot of schoolwork, so mainly it's just softball. Okay. And then the, the last two years obviously have been a challenge, yeah. to say the least. What do you think you've learned the most through that time? Um, hmm. Really to value my health. That's pretty much. Okay. What's it been like being back together with the team? It's been great. I love it so much. I miss them. Okay. And meeting all these new people. Um, tell us how long you've been playing softball and why you chose it for your sport. I have been playing softball for I think around 11 or 12 years. Um, it's kind of always been in my family. My cousin played, so I would always go to her games. And there was one day, at least from the way I remember it, I don't know if this is actually how it happened, we were over at her house and she was kind of just like going through her old stuff and she found one of her old bats and she was like, oh, do you want this? And I was like, sure. And so then I went out, I signed up for PVP GSL and that's, I don't know, I kind of just grew to love the game and the people that I played with. The rest is history. Yeah. Now, did you ever try any other sports? I played soccer up until my freshman year. Um, I tried volleyball for a while. I didn't really work out, but yeah, softball's just been the constant. What do you think it is about softball that made you want to stick with it the most? Honestly, I think it's mostly kind of just the people because a lot of the girls here, I've been playing with them since we were children. Mm -hmm. And even yesterday in the softball group chat, they pulled up pictures from like when we were eight and it was kind of just funny to like see everyone like how we've grown up together and kind of just still stick as one. Still friends, yeah. yeah. Because you've been playing for so long, what do you tend to work on from season to season to get a little better? Um, I tend to focus more on my mental game. For the past few years, it kind of like dipped a little bit, but I think recently I've definitely tried to help build my confidence and just like think before I act and kind of just be like, okay, before the pitch is thrown, this is what's going to happen. If I get the ball, I can go there or there, just like whichever one works. What position do you play? This year I'm playing first. Okay, now did you always play first or have you moved around a lot? I moved around a lot. Last year I pitched and played third, so I mainly my main positions are pitching and corners. Okay, and then the last two years obviously has been <laughs> just a huge challenge for everyone. What do you think you learned the most during that time? I feel like during that time I learned that it was easiest to kind of just stick together and keep the people closest to you. Um, like, I know the people who have been with me since freshman year, like, we would always, like, text each other and, like, kind of go out and work out if we weren't practicing during COVID, like, and it was kind of just, like, a way, and it was, like, a nice group of people to have and kind of just be like, okay, I can rely on these people, just like how I rely on them in a game, and it's just one family. All right, Cadence, tell me how long you've been playing softball and why you chose it for your sport. Uh, I've been playing, I want to say, like, five years, maybe. I started when I was, like, nine. Uh... I started playing because I did gymnastics and I was found it really boring. So I was like, oh, softball should be fun. So I tried it and I just stuck with it. Did you try any other sports besides gymnastics or just the two? Just the two. Okay. What do you think it was about softball that you that you liked? What was the positive parts of it? Um, honestly, it's the team. I like I've been on like a lot of teams mm -hmm. like with really good players and we've all like most of them I've had a really good connection with all of them. What position do you play? I'm a pitcher and an outfielder. Have you always been or did you kind of move around a lot? Uh, I moved around a lot. Yeah. When you guys do that, when you move around a lot, like what do you do you gravitate eventually toward a position do you think or uh, yeah, I 
Yeah, I started playing outfield like a couple years ago, and I like that's like my favorite position. Like I enjoy it a lot. Okay, and then how do you sort of balance the school time with the sports time? Um, that's a good question. Uh, it's most like time time management. Mm -hmm. So it's like I really just have to like find like a balance between the two. Okay, and you know, obviously, this the last two years have been a challenge. What do you think that you've learned the most through that? Um, I have to like, how do I say it? Like, I have to stay positive through most of it, and then just, like, keep up with, like, friends and everything. Like, double-check with everyone, and, like, yeah, that's it, basically. It, obviously, it must be so much more fun now that you guys can do more yeah. things together as well. Yeah. yeah. What do you think you missed the most about, like, team bonding things that you guys did? Um, the players. Just the – because I, like I – like, like I said before, like, I've been on teams where, like, everyone had a really good connection. So when I couldn't do that, that's when I started to feel like – sad and everything but I like really like everyone on the team so yeah I've been playing softball since kindergarten so that's about 13 years now and I just been playing it one time my parents said hey Lauren do you want to play softball and I was like oh sure let's do it and then 13 years later here we are you're still here did yeah. you ever try any other sports um I tried soccer for one year I didn't really like it that much but because yeah. you've been playing for so long, what do you tend to work on from season to season to get a little better? Um, just getting sh stronger, mostly with my hitting. I work a lot on that, just being able, just keeping my form up, getting stronger. That's basically it. What position do you play? I play catcher. Okay, and so did you always catch or have you moved around a lot? Um, I've always catched. Catcher's been my main position and probably favorite position to play since I was about six years old, like first grade. So, yeah. You know, interesting because obviously when you catch, you have to be aware of many things going on at once. How much time do you put in, obviously, before games to sort of study the other team? Um, I mostly lis at, listen to what my coach says, just rely on him because he's mostly watching them. Okay. Because during warm-ups before games, I'm obviously focused on my team and my it, pitchers. Exactly. Okay, and then um, – how do you sort of balance the school time with the, so the softball time? Um, since I'm a senior, it's gotten a lot easier this year. My workload has been less in, than in previous years, but like junior year, it was really hard to balance it. I was staying up late doing homework and everything, but I just really took time out of my weekends because that's when I did most of my schoolwork when I didn't have softball. And then last, well, second to the lastly, um, it's been a really challenging two years. What do you think you've learned the most coming out of this? Just learning how to come back from things, kind of go with the flow, kind of like not everything is going according to plan. Obviously with COVID, we've learned that and just just take things as they come. I've played softball for around 10 to 11 years now. Um, I started when I was in like in kindergarten and I used to be a super shy kid. So my mom wanted to get me out of my comfort zone and she kind of forced me to play softball but it's grown on me, and I've stuck with it throughout the years. Did you ever try any other sports? or? Oh, yeah, I tried soccer. A lot of people tried soccer, too, and it was like this whole phase during elementary school. But it definitely wasn't for me because I wasn't very good at it, and I found that being goalie was the funnest thing for me, which was a lot of catching, and that has to do with softball more than uh, – was, I was just better at catching balls, so I stuck with softball. And after they stopped giving out goodie bags, I quit soccer. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, that was enough of that. Yeah. So what position do you play now? Uh, I currently play pitcher, short, and center. Okay. And did you move around a lot? Like, have you played basically every position? Uh, well, for me, I've mainly played positions along the center, so pitcher, short, and center. Infield, okay. Yeah. Okay. And do you gravitate toward one more than another, or do you like playing those? Um, I think I enjoy playing all of them, actually. Okay. But I think I prefer pitching and... Actually, I can't really choose. Okay. They're all pretty... They're all fun. Yeah. Okay. And then, because you've been playing for a long time, what do you sort of work on from season to season to get a little better? Uh, I always try to reflect on what I was missing out on the previous season and what I could have improved on that last season. And then I go from there. And my goals are pretty, like tangible they change according to situation and what I need to focus on in my performance okay and then how do you sort of balance the school time with the softball time oh this is really difficult <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if I've completely managed to figure out the balance quite yet it's definitely really stressful with 
a bunch of there's just a bunch of different activities and programs you kind of have to get into and you feel like you feel pressured to get into but I try to work with like a less is more mentality where I try to do less things but do them to the best of my ability that's awesome yeah. um, <laughs> And so over the last two years, you guys have obviously had a very big challenge. What do you think that you've learned the most coming through COVID? I think I've truly understood what it means to be around people and be able to interact with others. I think that through COVID, even though I was still able to keep in contact with my current friends, I wasn't able to make new friends as easily. And I've come to realize the significance and how amazing making new friends can be and how just happy it can make you feel inside. Uh, this is my ninth year of playing softball and I really love the competitive spirit of softball. I also love all the cheers and you get to work as a team so that's a lot of fun. Did you ever try any other sports? Yes I did. I was actually um, I was in competitive dance when I was younger. <laughs> wow. And I also played lacrosse in middle school. Did and curling as well oh my gosh so yeah. did you are you still doing these different things or just trying at different points uh no i i did dance for i think about five years six years maybe and then i stopped uh curling i actually did freshman year uh, of high school so that was kind of recent and lacrosse was just one year okay so. if, because you did dance for the longest what do you think that you've learned doing that that actually helps you in softball um i think i've learned to like keep yourself calm that's definitely something that's similar between both of those, especially when you're about to go on stage and b before you're about to take the field. Mm -hmm. You have to just uh, take deep breaths, and it's honestly something I can still work on. So. What what position do you play? Um, I play catcher, shortstop, and center this year. So. Wow! And and do you have you always like kind of moved around, or do you sort of gravitate toward one place? Um. So actually. I, this is my first year playing center, um, and so it's a lot to learn, but it's it's been uh, quite fun. Okay, and then how do you sort of balance the school time with the sports time? Um, especially as a junior in high school, it is definitely difficult, um, but you just got to get all your work done, be really efficient, stay organized, and then you're, you're able to get all your stuff done. Okay, and then um, you guys have been through an unbelievable challenge the last two years. What do you think that you've learned the most? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, I think I definitely learned how to be more patient um, and also just to go with the flow because a lot of things have been changing. Mm -hmm. And so I think I used to be very like, oh no, like this specific thing has to happen. So I've definitely been able to adapt a lot better. I've been playing softball since I was about four years old. So I like t-ball and everything. And I've been playing it because it was like a family thing. So like my brothers played, my grandpas played, everyone in between. Did you ever try any other sports or? Oh yeah, I played like soccer and I've tried like all of them, but softball is just the one that stuck. Do you think it stuck because it was a family sport or something you, you particularly liked about it or? I just love the sport. It's just, I can't get away from it. What position do you play? I play second base and catcher. Okay, and so did you, have you moved all around since you've been playing for so long? Mm -hmm. I've been a utility for most of my life, but I've been stuck down at second for a while now. What do you think is the biggest challenge playing second? Um, it's trying to be everywhere at once and covering all the bags, make sure everyone knows what they're just doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, how do you sort of balance the school time with the sports time? Trying to make sure you're on top of your homework, like almost even days before it's due doing everything when you have time being efficient obviously yeah. yeah okay and then um you guys have had an unbelievable challenge the last couple of years what do you think that you have learned the most in that time or as a result of it I've learned that you really need a good support system with friends and you really need to have like a strong like fams family and friends and like a softball team is like a really big part of that did you guys, I mean, obviously communicate through social media, things like that? Oh, or? yeah. That's the biggest way we could stay in touch when we couldn't see each other for that long of time. Um, I've been playing softball for about 12 years now. Okay. Um, I didn't really choose it. It was kind of like my parents just wanted me to play a sport. So soccer, basketball, softball, those were my three for a while. Why do you think you stuck with softball? Um, my parents were the coaches, so I think that was a big aspect of it. Um, and it was just kind of the one that kind of registered registered with me the most okay did you what position do you play now um i'm pitcher in right field okay did you always pitch or did you have you moved around a lot and kind of 
gravitated toward that? Um, I've pitched since day one. Um, right field's new though. Last year I was, I've been an infielder my whole life and then now I'm an outfielder. So it just kind of changes depending on the season, wherever he needs me, that's kind of where I go. All right, because you've been playing for so long, what do you tend to work on from season to season to get a little better? Um, it just depends on the previous season. So last year my batting was really good, but my infield work was a little not the best. And so I was working on that and now I'm in outfield. So now I'm focusing more on outfield. Um, just trying to make sure that's up to par. What's been the biggest challenge for you out there? Because it's a lot further than anybody thinks, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, in outfield? Yeah. Um, probably reading the ball, just seeing where it's going to go. Um, and also taking the right angles. That's something that we always work on a lot because it's something that's really hard to do when you put it in the game. Okay. And then you guys have had an unbelievable challenging last two years. What yeah. do you think that you have learned the most from that? Um, I think just the importance of the attitude as a team because the more positive attitude, the better you're going to be during the season. And I think that's something that was really helpful this season. Last year we were a little down and I think now we just have a better kind of look on everything. So I think that was definitely very helpful. What's it been like being back together again? Oh, it's amazing. It's yeah. so nice. We can see each other without masks. We can play. It's just, it kind of gives me something to look forward to. So. Okay. And then um, how do you sort of balance the school time with the softball time? Um, it gets difficult at some points, but I think just knowing what classes I can take and what classes I will be able to take with softball, mm -hmm. I think it just kind of depends. And the coaches are pretty good about balancing the two. They know if you have something to make up for school, then they'll let you do that. So well, I've been playing softball for like 11 or 12 years. I think this is going to be my 12th year playing. So. Okay. Um, I chose playing softball. Um, my dad kind of just put me into it because he's always been like, baseball and he kind of just was like oh we don't have a son so this is the next best thing and I kind of just stuck with it it's like my favorite thing to do did you ever yeah. try any other sports or uh yeah I, I played volleyball I played soccer but I don't know this one's always been just my favorite okay what position are you playing now um I play pitcher and right field now have you always pitched or have you sort of gr yeah. gravitated toward that over time yeah I've always pitched um, always loved pitching. I started pitching lessons before pitching was even an option because I was like, oh, I really want to do that. And uh, I really, really love it. It's like so fun to have the control of like the game. And then right field, uh, I just started playing it and it's, it's pretty fun. Okay, because you've been playing for so long, what do you work on from season to season as a pitcher to get a little better? It's always, it's always keeping up with the speed and like as you grow taller, Sometimes you get like a little bit out of like whack sometimes, but like speed and like always accuracy and different pitches. Okay. Um, how do you sort of balance the school time with the softball time? It's really hard, <laughs> um, especially for me because I'm not like really academically inclined and I've always just wanted to do softball, softball and no schoolwork. So it is kind of hard, but like my teachers are really understanding when I have to miss some classes. What's the difference playing with the travel team for people who don't understand and then playing in school? Playing in school, um, it's really like, it's kind of less competitive, I want to say. It's not like, some of the coaches in travel ball are crazy. Like, they're psychotic. They have like four hour practices, five hours, like major conditioning. And like for school, it's really, really fun and you get to be with your friends and upperclassmen. There's also a bigger age difference. And you get to play about against like different competition. What was it like when you were on the lower end of the age spectrum and that it, you were playing with people that were a little bit older? Was that difficult or how does that kind of work? I don't know. Sometimes it just depends on who you play with. Like if there's like some six foot four yeah. like, girl, <laughs> you're gonna be like, wow, there's kind of a difference here, not just our ages. Yeah, exactly. Other than that, it's pretty much similar. Um, so I've been playing softball for about 12 years now. Okay. And I chose it because my dad is a really huge uh, baseball fan, and both of my brothers played it, so I kind of grew up around the sport. Did you always want to play because they were so into it too? It's sort of. You know, <laughs> I always loved hanging out at, like, the Little League fields and everything, so it definitely, yeah. And what position do you play? Uh, I play third. Okay, did you ever try any other sports or just basically softball? Uh, yeah, I played uh, basketball for quite a long time, like, 
maybe five years ish. Okay, and what was the difference playing both? I mean, was there one you liked more than another, or did you like playing both sports? Uh, I kind of liked playing both sports, but I really felt like softball kind of connected me more to my teammates a little bit. Everyone was really welcoming. Okay, and because you've been playing for so many years, have you tried every position, or how does that work? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and do you like thirds best? Uh, yeah, definitely. It gives me just kind of a sense of consistency, and it kind of grace under pressure, which is really just, you know. You know, it's interesting because really every single position, you learn something from playing, and there's there's specifics. What do you think is specific toward third? Um, I think specific towards third is that you really just kind of have to uh, be thinking about kind of yourself and not about other people as much as that sounds you know might have self-centered a little bit but you really kind of have to be focused on where the ball is mm -hmm. whether you're, you you might get a bunt or whether it might be hit really really hard at you so you just have to stay very consistent very true you know this has been just such a tr challenging time for everybody mm -hmm. what do you think that you have learned the most getting through covid uh getting through covid i'd say my I guess the place that softball has kind of in my heart and like in my life and my teammates as well and the kind of connections it gave me and you know how much I missed it when I couldn't play it. What's it been like being all back together again? Oh it's so nice it's just you don't miss those kind of small moments until you don't have them whether it's you know laughing in the dugout or just enjoying the like downtime at practice. Uh, I think I've been playing about eight years, and I think I chose it just because, like, as a child, my parents just put me in a lot of sports. So I just, like, stuck with it, and I got, it was just fun. What other sports did you try? Um, I played soccer, basketball, there was some ice skating in there, and I did do swim for a while, but I mainly stuck with softball and basketball. Why do you think? Like, what, were, what was it about those two sports that you were just like, this is the one I want to do? Um... They were just like fun. It was a team sport and I just kept with it. It was just always a fun experience to be there. Okay, because you've been playing for so long, what do you sort of work on from season to season to get a little better? Ba just like the basics, like just the, the reps of like ground balls and hitting. And yeah, nothing like crazy, but occasionally yes, but usually it's just the day-to-day -day basics. Okay, and then on what position are you playing now? Uh, right now, I'm playing third base in left field. And do you move, or have you moved around a lot over the years, or? Uh, well, I used to be a pitcher, and on my travel ball team, I do catch. Okay. So, but usually those are my main positions. Okay, and then, you know, this has been a difficult two years, to say the least, or I should ch say challenging. What do you think you've learned the most? Uh, just to, like, get through it, like, determination and perseverance, especially with COVID. You have to learn to, like, adapt to your surroundings if that makes sense and get mm -hmm. through the day especially it's harder because not a lot of social interaction just like being by yourself and still putting in the work go with the flow right yeah for sure okay and then how do you sort of balance the school time with the softball time uh well since i'm a freshman there's not too much work okay and i can do a lot of it like at school and softball only goes to like five so i'll be home doing homework at six it's not too crazy and i just like study in increments so it's pretty good and what's it been like being on this team this year oh it's super fun the girls are really nice and I, I just love it it's a great atmosphere and playing super fun especially at games it's like a nice way to like relax and just be yourself and feel good dodgers angels or somebody else i'm gonna have to go with dodgers i've always been a dodgers family dodgers dodger family angels otani all the way Dodgers, 100%. Dodgers all the way. Bleed blue. It's angels. Mike Trout. Uh, Dodgers. Oh, 100% Angels. I've been to so many games. Dodgers. <laughs> we don't really watch baseball, but if I had to pick Angels. Dodgers, Angels, or somebody else, who's your team? Honestly, I just watch it come to uh, World Series. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> you wait till the end. Yep. Okay, very good. Oh, man. I have to, I have to say that... Um, I do think the, the Freddie Freeman signing is exciting. I, I think I think that not only do I think he's really good and he's going to fit in really nicely and he's going to drive in Trey Turner and uh, Mookie Betts a bazillion times, but he just seems like part of that Dave Roberts culture too, you know. So it, it seems like he got their guy. That said, I still root for the Angels. I I wanted I wanted to click for them. I want Rendon to be healthy and Trout to be healthy and. Uh, 
pitching to work out, oh, Cindergard could be healthy, like, and Shohei, of course. Like, it'd be really fun if those guys were able to put it all together, and I think they've got some pieces in place. And that will do it for today's show. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Maria Soreo, and we'll see you next time on Playing the Field Local Edition.